finished filming the Planet Kids video <laughs> so before I actually go on and edit the video since it's still bright and I can still film another video so I'm filming the pen box um, unboxing for you today so ah, another end <laughs> So what I'm going to do that is that I will show you all the pens and show you how to refill the fountain pen inks which is the most frequently asked questions in our Facebook group that how do you use this pen? How do you actually add inks into the fountain pen? It's pretty simple. I actually have a very short video in my channel show you how to fill up the ink. And if you are still not sure, you can actually Google. There are plenty of useful YouTube video. Uh, I think Gulet Pens actually show that how show you how to use uh, a fountain pen, how to refill your fountain pen cartridges. So okay, without further ado. I will show you, uh, unbox the box first, <laughs> okay. So, um, this is the usual box that we put our pens. Um, December Happy Pen Box is a sushi theme, so the card is actually the sushi one. And then when you flip it over, you can actually see what's in our December Happy Pen Box. You get a matte fountain pen, a uni postcard marker in gold, a uni pin fine liner, Pilot Juice Metallic in Violet and then a Violet Brush Pen, Panda Pen Pillow so you actually get 5 pens in this box you get an extra pen pillow and what are the subscriber fridges? let me show you so you actually get a sheet of stickers that come with 6 ink swatch 6 ink bottles you can actually um, color the ink bottles with your fountain pen inks and then write down the names and put them in your swatch book or in your planner or you can also use it as your I mean what do you call that ink swatch or what did you actually ink your pen this month and you can just write here and put it in your planners I'm sure a lot of you actually um, will record down what are what are the ink that you fill up in your fountain pens because sometimes I really forget and I need to write down in my planner especially after the monthly view the other one will be the ABC Doodle the ABC Doodle um, what I'm thinking is that you can use it along with your you can doodle it with your uni pin fine liner or even the pilot brush pen it looks really really cute and if you get this on time, you might actually use it to do the your um, Christmas cards or your monthly planner. You can actually just draw a planner or something on your own. Okay, let me open up the pen box. So bubble wrap and tissue paper. And this is the first thing that I want to show you, which is a pilot brush pen. And we actually put that in black. Okay, this pilot brush pen is in fine. Just let me um, do a pen test on each of the of each of the brush pen. This brush pen is called Fude Makase brush pen. <laughs> I don't know what is Makase. <laughs> Alright, something terrible happened. I think my camera just stopped when I was halfway filming. I don't know why it stopped. I think it stopped somewhere around when I was talking about my Pilot Fude Makase brush pen. Oh well, I will just start all over again just in case I miss out any fun pens that are included in this box. So the first pen that you will get in this box will be the Pilot Fude Makase brush pen. Okay, my lettering is ugly so don't judge me. Makasa brush pen. It actually make really cool thin thick line, and it is a very fine tip brush pen, fine um hard felt tip, which is perfect for the um beginner for the brush lettering. Uh, if you just started doing brush lettering, I would say this is an awesome awesome pen because the felt tip is. Is it recording? <laughs> yeah, it is. Just checking in. So, if you just started doing brush lettering, I noticed that you, um, the beginner actually tend to press like really hard for the downstroke. So, if you are using a softer brush, it's actually harder. 
to control so uh, for a hard felt tip it's actually much easier so for lettering basically thin up stroke and thick down stroke this is what makes the lettering awesome and with a lot a lot a lot of practice okay I don't practice much so my lettering looks awful so palette brush pen find it in black color the second one will be this um, palette juice pen in 0 0.5 um, metallic violet color so I just write down the name of the pen palette juice palette juice is one of the best gel pen that I have ever used I found out about this pen when I was traveling in Japan in Tokyo like um, three years ago and this pen is literally everywhere and <laughs> the name is like so cute they say it's um, fit proof if I'm not wrong is it waterproof I'm not sure but it's like a really really great uh, gel pen so uh, I want to show you how it writes on black paper so I'll just write pilot juice I'm not sure if you could tell it writes really well and since it's metallic color it shows up more like silver color on black paper than um, violet color so 0 0.5 is just the perfect nib not too fine yet, I suppose and it flows like really smoothly pilot juice and the great thing about pilot juice is that it comes with this clip thing it's similar to zebra sarasa clip I would say both pens are really similar because they are both gel pens and come with various nib size and also uh, come with this really cute clip and um, retractable pen yep the next one will be this uni pin fine line I really love this uni pin fine line because I use it a lot for my watercolor illustration because it's simple basic uh, what I want to say is waterproof and fade proof when you are using a fine liner for your um, watercolor illustration or your line art it's very important to get something waterproof so that when you add color or add water to your illustration it will smudge or smear so um, you need pin fine line uh, this one that I'm included is 0 0.3 I always use the 0 0.5 but I thought I would just switch it up and include 0 0.3 so you can try out different nib size and if I'm not wrong we have included 0 0.5 Pigma Micron fine liner did I? I can't remember oh my god I'm so forgetful so um, I actually I think this uni pin fine line is very similar to Sakura Pigma Micron line fine liner, but um, I actually like this uni pin a little bit better because I feel like the felt tip is a bit more a bit sturdier, and sometimes I press really hard when I'm drawing, so um, the the tip won't ruin won't be ruined. So this is perfect. And what I want to say is that my friend Gladys actually showed in one of her Instagram video that she can actually use a fine line to do full calligraphy. Full calligraphy that means the fake calligraphy that you do not need a brush pen or a deep pen. All you need is a basic pen. Of course you do not need necessarily need this fine liner. I'm just showing how you do it. So calligraphy is basically thin up stroke and thick down stroke, right? Thin up stroke and thick down stroke. But for fine liner, no matter how you draw it, it's actually similar nib size, same nib size. There's no thin or thick. So what you can do is that you know, this is going up is thin, when it's coming down is thick. So you actually add some thickness to your font, to your lettering, and that's how you actually make full calligraphy. And you do not have to have very good uh, brush control. All you need is to practice more and be really creative and with plenty of reference and practices you will master the full calligraphy it's like really really simple and fun and you can basically just do it anywhere so this is the full calligraphy that you can do it with this fine line oh did I mention that for the pilot Fure Makase brush pen you can actually use it for doodling as well what I like to do with a brush pen is that uh, it looks really organic with the thin and thick line 
but of course this brush pen is not waterproof so if you are planning to add watercolor on it you have to be really careful maybe you will have to add after after you have add I mean add the line the line or after you have color with your watercolor and then the last pen is it the last no not yet we have five pens in this box the next pen that we have is this Posca marker I already have one open up here so what you need to do is basically just tear out this um, plastic plasticky thingy that wrap around the pen to protect it and this uni Posca marker is actually really awesome I know a lot of people like them the colors that I have included in this month box is gold color I'm thinking I should include more of the other colors I even find the pastel color and the one with glitter the shimmer or glitter yeah it's really cute so it's like a fine tip marker and I don't know maybe it's 0 0.25 I don't know 1 mm I don't know the thickness of the nib I'm sorry but it's quite fine as you can see this is Unipin fine line 0 0.3 and this is the Uni Posca Unipin and Uni Posca is actually from the same company which is by Mitsubishi so when you get this pen maybe I will show you how you can actually um, warm up when you get this pen um, we are having them in gold in silver and white in the shop but in the box you will definitely get a um, get a gold one all right I will open up the silver one and show you uh, how to start using this pen or to break in when you get this pen so when you get this pen the tip the nib is actually dry and you will actually need to shake it before you use this pen okay it's everywhere I'm sorry okay you have to shake it and just press it a few times and start writing it and after you write a few times it should be perfect to start using it so I will run to show you how it looks like on black paper I do not want to dirty my LV agenda <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> see it's super super opaque and a lot of illustrator who do the that always like to use uni posca marker especially in the white one to add highlights highlights and stuff like that so this is the uni posca in silver i want to show you the gold one let's see the, what's the difference between this gold and the uni posca gold <coughs> I'm almost done and I need to go home later it's getting dark here this is the gold one and the white is really really opaque I'm too lazy to open up the white one here but I, I will sh show it in the shop um, the picture that I list the items okay so we have uni Posca and everything here the last one will be the <coughs> matte black uh, fountain pen this pen I think is Lemmy inspired Lemmy Safari inspired and it's of medium nib so when you get this fountain pen what you need to do is that aha uh -huh, you just see the cartridge it come with what do you call this this is not cartridge this is a converter okay what I must say it's a converter so you will need to twist it anti-clockwise <coughs> so and push it all the way down as you can see here put it back and you will have a you will have the shimmer can you see the shimmer from this ink let me open up okay you will see the gold shimmer in this ink as well so the gold shimmer ink and what you need to do is that um, you have to shake it properly it's going to get really messy shake it properly and open up with care so that you don't spill the ink everywhere dip the pen into the ink until here see until like half of the pen nib you see until the hole here and then you have to start I'm not doing it here because it's going to get really messy and I have no water supply you see so I can't wash my hand ew it's disgusting so once you dip the nib into the ink halfway through the nib here 
then you start turning clockwise this way up you start turning clockwise and you will have the ink fill up all the way here and during your first trial you might not be able to fill up fully so what you need to do is that release the ink again so you turn anti-clockwise all the way down push all the way all the ink out and do it clockwise again to start sucking up the ink you have to do it a few times to eliminate the air bubble in the in the converter so I think after four to five trials um, you should be able to fill up the converter perfectly and then close this back twist it clockwise I'm not very good with the direction clockwise anti-clockwise whatever and then close it back and you can start writing this ink has very um, light gold shimmer it's a black ink with a hint of gold shimmer and it's not really um, a lot a lot of shimmer but it's very little gold shimmer and it's like a really pretty black ink and one thing to note that um, any inks with shimmer you will need to clean the pen the fountain pen uh, as frequent as possible and it's possible try not, not to leave the ink more than a day or two or else it might just um, stuck in the nib or just clog the nib and you will just ruin the whole pen that's what I read I'm not sure yet because I only have one pen filled with this shimmer ink so far it's all good and if it really clogs up what you can do is that you can try to soak it in halfway through soak the nib halfway through into um, warm water and start turning the converter um, clockwise anti-clockwise to clear up the ink and then I think you should be good to go and remember do not put shimmer ink in your expensive fountain pen what if it ruined your pen and you will not be able to repair it and one last thing in the pen box which is this um, pen pillow I put all the pen I put pen pillow in all the planner kits and pen boxes this month so this is another one so we have four different type of pen pillows just let me show you all of them here do I have all of them like all the pen pillows I do know I do not know where's the other one but all right all the pandas are here so this is the one for the pen box the photory kit the A5 kit and the personal size kit they are my god it's so noisy all right I think that's all for today and I can go home now after I cleaning this up so five pens one pen pillow a subscriber fridges or freebies which is the ink sample I think it leak a little bit I'm not sure why that's all for today and thank you so much for watching my uh, video and <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you really like this video remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I hope to be able to make more videos soon I hope <laughs> I'm always lazy too lazy to edit the videos thank you so much bye bye